Carl in Chicago, Illinois writes to me and he says, Paul, I understand that DSD files on SA CDs are encrypted and they need to be run through a special Sony chip to decode them. I understand that DSD files can now be streamed or downloaded and stored on a local server. Are these files <coughs> still encrypted, requiring a trip through that same Sony chip to be played, or has copyright protection of these DSD files become a thing of the past? Okay, yes, in a way that is true, but in a way it is not true. So Carl's question implies that the actual DSD has somehow been encrypted so that if you were to access that file, you would not be able to play it. And that's not true. On an SACD, the DSD layer, and most SACDs have a DSD layer and uh, a CD layer. It's called a dual layer device. So you can play it in a CD player. Like everything we do at Octave Records, has you can pop it into a CD player and play it right away. You won't get the DSD layer, but you will get the CD layer. And that's a reasonably close copy. But the DSD layer, that's the original master. If you do it right, and we try at Octave Records to do it right. All right, that DSD file is not encrypted, but here's the deal. There is an encryption code and it's very clever. That encryption code is unique for every single SACD made. And you need a Sony chip to unlock the DSD layer. Now the DSD layer is untouched. It's just pure DSD, but you can't access it through a transport drive unless you have that special Sony encryption key. So why did they do that? And they still do it today. When we make at Octave Records, when we make an SACD, that is, that's the rules. That's the way Sony does it. And, and <laughs> we're not going to take on Sony. Originally, it was done to protect the artists and probably still to this day. And here's why. That DSD layer, it is the master. Okay? So, years ago when CDs first came out with their, I mean, people were afraid. Why? Because unlike a vinyl record or a cassette tape, you could only copy that so many times. It, every time you copy in analog, you're losing a generation. And, you know, over so many times, that generation is pretty bad and it sounds pretty bad. But now all of a sudden, we have this thing called digital audio. And we can make copies till the cows come home without any loss whatsoever. So that was the first big hurdle and people kind of freaked out like, and they had good read because then we got Napster and then you could stream it over the computer on and on and on. All things you couldn't do with analog. So that was the first big hurdle. But still, that CD wasn't even close to what we would hear in the studio. What we heard in the studio back then was amazing. It was the original master. And here was this okay digital copy. We could copy it all day long without degradation, but it wasn't the master. Then Sony and Philips came out with the SACD in this new format called DSD. And suddenly we had the ability to take the actual master that we were hearing in the studio and play it at home. That had never been done before. And the musicians were freaking out going, hey, you know, come on. It's bad enough that I can sell a CD and it, you know, everybody and their brother can get a copy. And now you want to take my masters and give it to them? Uh-uh. If you want to do that, encrypt it so that nobody can copy it. And that's how that all came to be. And that's still in place today. And it's still true. Because at Octave Records, everything we do on that master is in DSD and we just copy it directly over to that layer. Bing, bada, boom. Now, at Octave, when you buy one of our SACDs, you also get a DVD data disc that actually does have the unencrypted, unprotected file so you can put it onto your server because we're not, we're not Sony. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I hope that answers your question. Okay. 
Thanks. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.